Alright you guys, welcome to a brand new series on my channel. I don't really know how to uh, how to introduce this game. Um, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Um, if you've ever seen any of my Minecraft videos, you know that this is my skin on Minecraft. And right there is Banjo, playing the Banjo. And in his backpack is Kazooie. In the background you can see his sister Tootie being chased by a bull. And this is just something they introduced in the uh, right before you start the game, right in the be uh, as it's loading up. And I actually think it's really cool. This is actually Mumbo right here. We'll meet him later. But if you can't tell yet, I I am playing this game on the Xbox 360, and I would love to play it on 64. I actually think it's Nintendo 64. I actually think it's uh, better on the Super Nintendo 64, but. I don't even know how, how do you record on the Super Nintendo 64, like it's so old, I don't even know how to do it. And fortunately, uh, they released the Netspots a couple years ago. So I was able to deliver it to you guys. In the beginning here, they start off with one of the few and only cutscenes of the entire game. And I'm probably not going to talk during that. Alright, this first file right here is my practice file, so we're not going to use this one. This one's an empty one that you always use last, and this one was my favorite file, that just, just because he's playing the Game Boy. So we're going to start our journey on file 3, and get going.
Alright, you guys. And after that beginning cutscene, we're gonna have to talk to the mole. Bottles, as his name is. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to talk during these, uh, while they're talking. Um, I'm sure later in the game I might because, uh, it's not really as important as, uh, what they're saying right now. Um, we're going to, uh, skip the training because we don't really need it. I've played this game a shit ton. More than the average person. And the training in the beginning is kind of boring anyway. It basically just teaches you the basic attacks and how to defeat enemies. It's really not that important. There is something here that we will be picking up that is important though. So with these basic trainings we can roll, we can fly like this, we can peck like this, and we can peck... Oh, nope, we have to run with him apparently. I did not mean to do that. We can also peck... Oh god, where is it? Nope, not like that, but like this. There we go. It's not exactly how you want to start off a video. You can also jump like this for uh, higher ledges to get up to. And these things right here are empty honeycomb pieces. And I'll tell you what they do right here. Basically, you just collect sets of them. That thing just flew out of the ground. That you collect sets of them, and uh, you get an extra bar, bar of your life. I think there's one, yeah, there's one over here. Alright, would we'll see that little thing in there, the waterfall? I'll see what, I'll tell you what that is later. Whenever we pick one up. I think there's another one right here. Nope, it's on the other side. Okay, I think I know what the rest of them are. I really hope I don't miss one. Okay, yeah, there was one down here. And you can swim in this game by either swimming with Kazooie, or you can swim with Banjo's feet, but you can swim with Kazooie much faster than you swim with Banjo's feet. You just have to destroy these fourth box right here. They all have to be Kazooie attacks. I don't think it matters which... Okay, yeah, no, it does matter. And the fourth one will give you a f our fifth empty honeycomb piece. And then the sixth one is right up here. We just have to just kill this guy. And then he gives it to us. And then sit them together, we'll give us an extra bar of life. We'll be collecting those throughout the game, and every time we get sets, we're gonna get a little bit extra health. Which actually put it's pretty nice. It starts to add up near the end of the game. But as you probably could see in my first file there that you saw at the beginning of the video, this game is roughly seven hours long, but probably would take me six and a half to seven hours to beat, depending on how much I mess up. So I'm not sure how many parts that have come out to be, but it uh it should be a decently long game. I do plan on playing the Banjo Tooie. If you guys, if any of you know what uh what that is, it's just the second, but it's just the second game of this series. I actually forgot about this cutscene.
Alright, uh, first, the first thing we have to do is come over here and pick up with Jiggy here. We'll be collecting these throughout the game. And every time we collect a Jiggy, he does a little dance like that. And we actually need to get that Jiggy. The first time I played this game, I actually came over here first. And, uh, I did not know what to do because I saw that that was closed off. And I came up here, and I was like, oh, there's a piece missing. But I have no idea where it is. And we used the Jiggies to uh, fill up the puzzle. And then the puzzle will uh, open a new ward for us. I don't think Kazooie actually calls bottles bottles one time in this whole game. I think it's like always a goggle boy or something like that. And every puzzle that we do throughout the game, we'll get more and more difficult and need more and more jiggies. Oh, uh, yeah, jiggies, yeah. Every level that we enter to will uh, get us, uh, teach us some new moves. This is, uh, this is what I like to call the Ikon Okum, or Skull, from Mumbo. And you have to collect a certain amount of those to allow him, allow you, allow you to use Mumbo. And the next thing we collected, um, there's another one right here, it's called a Jinjo. And there's going to be five Jinjos in each game, or in each level, that we need to collect in order to uh, get a Jiggy. And there's notes over here that I'm collecting, there's going to be a hundred notes in each ward as well, that we need to collect. Right now we're sitting at unlucky 13, so that's not good. Okay, well one of the first enemies that they introduce into the game here is this ball that you probably saw in the beginning part that I showed. It wasn't really much of a cutscene, but these guys give you three of the health, or honey gums. But you actually can't kill the ball, at least not, not that I know of. I'm not sure why. Next we're going to talk to Kungo. He's got some stuff we need. If you do this way, you can hit them all in like three throws, but that takes way too much practice. There's ten of, ten of these jiggies in each one of the wards, so we need to collect them all, you know. And when we're ready, we're ready, when we, as, as Bottles just said, when we're ready to leave the ward, we just had to go into the pod that we used to enter. If you bring this orange over here to this monkey, you can throw it next to the uh, thing you're standing on, and by some magical way, it will grow. Right here's our second jiggy. Two of ten for this ward. And these are picking up now eggs, and we're going to be taught how to fire these. Once we get done talking to bottles. The controls in, uh, in the 360 version are not only they different, but they're a little bit more confusing than in the uh, N64 version. And, uh, I'm not, I mean, there's more buttons on the N64 controller. I don't know if you guys have ever actually seen it, but there's like, I think there's like eight-ish, maybe nine buttons. And the 360, there's only, okay, there's eight. I thought there was less than that, but they don't, uh, they don't use the bumpers for this game. Um, so it, it is kind of, uh, difficult to uh, get the controls down. Oh, jeez, nice fail. We don't need to go over there anyway, not yet. First, that's me to take down Krongo, or Kongo, I think his name is. And if you just fire eggs at him, and then avoid the banana oranges that he throws at you, you can defeat him. Just make sure you fire three eggs at a time. I didn't know he was going to throw two. Kanga, I think, I, I think that's what I was saying, Kanga. 
It's not my mistake. Yeah, after we defeat him, he just instantly starts throwing all just back at us. So it's like we did nothing. Is that really the only one? I must, hit, I must have got the other two. Now we're going to head up here. We can destroy these guys by just simply attacking them. One of the easiest enemies in the game. Next we got new Next we have to learn another new move. Basically it allows us to uh I don't want to say ground pound, but uh that's what a lot of terms in other games we use. And all you gotta do is then top of something and then go straight down with Kazooie. Let's get rid of that guy. Pick up this thing right here. And uh, if we destroy all these, there should be a uh, Jiggy at the end. All these houses will have uh, different items inside all of them. Some of them are good, like uh, the enemy. Some of them are, like this Jinjo. And that right there will give us an extra life. As you guys probably saw, there's another Jiggy up here in Mumbo's eye. Mumbo's house's eye. Alright, you guys. It's probably where I'm going to call the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. And uh, tune, in, tune in for episode 2.